No, this is the question. Do I look like I would go 50-50 on bills? No. Okay. And look at look at what happened. She called herself flexing and got a bigger flex on her. Now he's with somebody he doesn't have to pay a dime for. So it didn't work. <laughs> you lost them to somebody with more money that will do 50-50. She says, what do I look like to not be paying? What, what does somebody look like that it doesn't, doesn't have pay. to pay for 50? What does that look like? I don't get it. I don't understand. You, you look broke. I don't understand what's the look. I don't care how beautiful you are. When I heard that interview, you're ugly. That's just my attitude. Yeah, attitude. I, you could be the best looking girl in the world, but you're ugly. I didn't even like the That answer right there made me say, never. Toxic. <laughs> Yeah, I never. I'm just, just that attitude. Well, wait a minute, Killer. Wait a minute. You might want to regroup. <laughs> Bro, I got a picture of her right here. I'm looking at no, her. I'm just... I pulled her images up. Because you know why? <laughs> she's on all these red carpets. And when you scroll down on the images, she's on like the top 10 photos of red carpets. And you just see her going and Taylor Swift on all the red carpets. When I'm scrolling up, she just disappears after, you, after a while. No more red carpet, no nothing now. I, and don't get me wrong. I like pretty. But your attitude, dryness. So you guys broke up? Okay, well, so she basically is saying, look at me. Do I look like I will pay 50-50 with somebody? Leading with her looks, I guess. Um, I don't know. She was dating who? Travis Kelsey or somebody like a football player or something like that? Yeah, Travis Kelsey. She used to date. And now he's dating Taylor Swift. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I think she um, probably worded that incorrectly because she came back the next day saying that she felt um, like she shouldn't have said certain things in her interview. So I think maybe, I don't know, but she's a journalist, so she should have some sort of um, training in media. So I don't know. I think it was a bad moment for her. Yeah, I think when she came back around, I think that – I think she meant what she said. I just think sometimes I'm used to seeing people change up their thoughts and perspectives based on how the audience responds afterwards. They really can't handle the comments or handles people's uh, reaction to what they said. So they switch it up, do a little bit of damage control. Um, well, I think – she has money just like him. Maybe not the same amount, but I guess she figures if she's going to be in a relationship with someone and she's not married to them, maybe, you know, he should be supporting her to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. But see, I think that's what, what like Viz was saying. As a man, we you shouldn't be taking care of a woman that's not your wife like that. It shouldn't be an obligation or responsibility of a man to be doing that. But I, I'm going to say this. I didn't do that for my wife. Yeah, but you got to think. When, when Travis day, we, we, I, I didn't take care of her. I didn't provide for her. You shouldn't. I don't, care, I don't care how wealthy you are. You shouldn't have to do that. You're not obligated to do Now, if you do it just out of the kindness of your heart, that's on you. Mm -hmm. But it shouldn't be like an expectation. And that's the vibe she's giving off. Like, see, it's expected of him to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that should be the case. And men see right through that shit. They realize when you got a woman like that, her priorities are jacked up. She's just looking for a, a meal ticket. And and men don't like to be used. Not, 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 look, men don't mind it being indirectly used. We know sometimes we're being used and taken advantage of. But when you just blankly do it in our face like what she's doing, now, now you're doing too much. Well, they're not together anymore. <laughs> Well, no, I don't blame him. He, he did right by, <laughs> by letting that heifer go. He, yeah. he saved himself a lot of headaches and heartaches. But this is my problem with her. Why is she still talking about this shit? Now she's looking like the scorned woman. She needs to move on. If they start asking a question about that, yeah, I'd rather not have I'd rather not talk about that. I'm happy for him and her and her relationship. Congratulations. But I'm I'm moved on. I, I done outgrown that. I graduated. Take the Tia Maori approach. I, I graduated from that situation. Yeah, I think she uh, just, I think she said the wrong thing. I think um, she was comfortable 
and just, you know, sometimes people get on podcasts and say anything and then they get the backlash and they feel, you know, guilty or they feel a certain way uh, because of the negative, you know, feedback. So I don't think she'll be saying that anymore, but. I mean, it's kind of harsh, you know, to hear. I would feel a certain way if I was him and I heard it after the fact, like, because it seems like that's all she was there for. Almost like just based on the words. But I mean, I'm sure, you know, she dated him for a reason. He dated her for a reason. But I'm it didn't work. Problem out. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. No, I'm saying the problem is it's, it's, this wasn't the first time that she mentioned something about the relationship. When they first started, when they first got together, she mentioned something. She sent some, you know, uh, indirect shots at uh, 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 Taylor Swift, and 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 some of her fans, you know, got, came back at her. You know what I'm saying? And she said she, you know, she wasn't going to mention and, and speak on the relationship again, but yet. You know, a year or so later, she's still having this same conversations. She's still having these same feelings or same uh, talking points that she did when they first got together. So it's obvious she haven't learned her lesson. She's still, like like I said, that's why I sit there and made the statement. She sounds like she's bitter and, and angry and hurt because how the relationship went. It didn't go the way she thought it should. And now he them, she says, she thinks he downgraded, but uh, did he really? Taylor Swift is a billionaire, right? Isn't she a billionaire? Again, That's what you got, someone just but you me got a some text, individuals so. who, who, who you, but you got some individuals whose ego is so inflated that they feel like, oh no, no, she downgraded. Look at me, what I look like doing fifty fifty, man. <laughs> you ain't no better than the next one. Hmm. But there are always women who are prettier than you. That's more well off than you. That has more followers than you, and is like and appreciated more than you. Some women don't feel that way. They, you can't tell them individuals that they feel just feel like they what they feel, and it's, it's a harsh reality. To them. Yeah, well, I don't know how long they've been apart, but it seems like that conversation should come to an end if they're not together and he's with somebody else. Well, I think it's like year two for him, ain't it? I, I know it's I know it's been one football season for sure because she was. She was there last year for the Super Bowl and all of that. So I know it's at least one year for sure. It may be going on year two now. So. Hmm. Oh. Remy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, how y'all know I'm going to chime in? I, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't take her saying, um, um, what did she say? Oh, what, what I look, do I like. look like? But yeah, I didn't take that as a physical thing. Like, when I heard that, it made me feel like, what I look like? I look stupid. You know, like that. Like, more like, I look stupid for going half and half now, you know, to each his own, right? Because I kind of agree with what the fellas, some of the fellas said. Like, don't just be so, like, damn, like, that's how you coming? Like, okay, girl. Like, and, and it's a turn off to a lot of people because, like, okay, that's, that's, how the, that's how you talk. That's how you this and that. You know, I get it, but... I feel like to each his own. If that's if you are a woman and you want, you know, to be taken care of, I don't think it's something wrong with that. I love how um King said earlier, like he takes care of his wife because he wants to. Like, and that's just that's his choice. Like I think, you know, going into a relationship expecting that, you know, without having that that type of how do I say this? maybe you should attract somebody that does that. You know what I mean? Like it, something in you should bring that towards you versus like that coming out your mouth. But I also think that that kind of goes into the fact that like, you know, here Mace and um, Cameron are on the show, Kiki and right. Laughing and talking the way that they want to. Men are always mostly welcome to say whatever it is they want to almost how they want to say it. Right. But like as soon as a woman is not speaking in a certain tone and so calmly or whatever way it, that a nurturer or this soft space should be presented as, it gets like everybody want to turn their nose up. And I just think, you know, she was speaking on what, you know, what she wants. Now, I don't know what results that will render her, 
But I just think, you know, I didn't take it as a physical thing when she said that. It kind of felt like, I, do I look dumb? Like, da-da-da. But I don't, I don't know.